<laughs> you know, a good market, a good market for a good market for knowing who you are is is when nobody ain't looking. You know, what do you do? That's that's who you are. So if if you do the right thing, only when only when people are looking, well, that's who you are. Only when people are looking, but they ain't looking if you do. It. <laughs> right, so. But like always you. know, always know that if you're doing you're the right thing, if like somebody ever look at what you're doing, then you can always be good because you're always doing the right thing, right? So it's super important. It's super My important. feet are cold. That's uh -oh. that's the epitome of character. Looking like me. What'd you say? I, I said that's the epitome of character when you do uh, it when nobody is looking. That's the epitome of character. Character, right? Character. Yeah, character. Oh, whatever they gonna say. <laughs> All right, so, so we, we um, you know, like like I said, it, these are always the kind of family meetings. So I just came. I'm like family. I just came came to the house a little late. Woke up a little late because I, I thought we was uh, this <laughs> meeting day. So um, I'm turning this over to president. A couple things that you guys seen in the group. Um, you guys seen over 150. Uh, repost of, of 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 our information, so it's being picked up by a lot of the big big names, including names as big as Fox, right? I mean, whether you like Fox and or not, everybody knows who Fox News is. Everybody knows who Yahoo News is, and we, as they say, we in there, <laughs> we in there, right? So a lot going on, a lot happening behind the scenes. All these things are driving, um, as we mentioned to you before about some of our tokenomics, uh, those in play. Um, I don't know how much time the president's going to have today to explain the details of it, but what I do know is that um, we, we finally got a, a, a process down where our accountant, God News, uh, good news, uh, God's will, sorry, you know, good news. So yeah, I got, now I got a buddy in, uh, where is he at? He's in South Africa. His name is Good News. Um, big network convention. Maybe it's time for me to call him. But, but uh, God's, God's will figured out a way to be able to drop um, the the tokens into the banks you got a tool to be able to do it now so um is is going to be some collaboration happening with him and organizers in terms of the, the, the listing of the actual banks is organized and there's also some one or two people told me uh, ralph told me last night that some people were trying to get some um trying to get their bank nfts to 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 basically stake to hbt to stake to the banks and it wasn't it wasn't happening um, so we sent a message to Tech already on that. Just waited for him to wake a couple hours to see how we can get that fixed. All right. So today's today's kind of a nice update for everybody to know what's going on for, for everybody on in, on in the U.S. and Canada side and Barbados side. It's still Wednesday, so this is our maybe we come. This is our maybe we come today. Uh, <laughs> get caught up to where things are and what we want to get finished up for the rest of the week. So we're going to keep it nice and neat. And I'm going to pass it, turn it over to the president here so he can go over uh, what it is that we want to get clear uh, to our, our our community so we can get continue to move on right so as i mentioned to ralph yesterday a lot of what we're doing right now is just everything's already built we're just walking it out right walking it out not running it out we're walking it out to get in, in a nice rhythm nice pace and we're done thank you president hello humanity family hope everybody's doing well um everything everything is going going good on this end back settled um, thank you for everything, guys. All the support, all the all the everything, all the prayers. Man, we make all this travel safely. We made it safely without incident. Um, you know, they wanted me to stay in Philippines a little bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, <laughs> we worked it out. Worked it out with immigration, so all good. Uh, all good. Um, so here's a couple of things we're gonna go over today. Uh, just one, of them, and they're pretty big and significant. Uh, Jamal mentioned some of them. But I want you guys to know them, understand them in context of what's going on, right? So we had a first press release uh, about a week ago about Humanity Protocol. You guys, that was picked up by most of the major news services and picked up by all the financial, the global financial news services. Uh, we had a second press release uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday. And again, that was picked up by Yahoo's and ABC News of the world, reposted on their sites. Um, and uh, about 1,500 sites to uh, press release we posted on new sites, press release we posted on about humanity investments and our humanity blockchain index. We talked about a little bit about that two days ago. 
uh, super important. This is uh, how we're going to get everybody in blockchain in line with with being humanitarian and doing things doing things for uh, you know for the purpose of bettering humanity. Um, we have a process by which the process by which the uh, the banks as early as today we were trying to get it done last night, but this is like tomorrow. I was dead tired. You know, I said we said. We talked about midnight about what we we're gonna to try to get done. He was gonna to talk to Ralph, and I was gonna do something else. And uh, at least he talked to Ralph. He might have been asleep when he talked to Ralph. But at least he talked to Ralph because the person I was supposed to talk to, they they, they got nothing. <laughs> and I woke up this morning. So, um, so, so today, our goal for today, you know, we accomplished. But our goal for today is to start the process. By which we can now deposit the HMNP, the RS in your wallet, the wallets of the people who have complete banks. So we start the process today. We'll give you the the function mechanism of that later. Uh, we we'll tell you then how we you know, have different coins because you have coins you earned for past, going back to the beginning of your bank coins for now. But we want to start the process today, and then so be, give us a little grace as we start the process because twenty banks get done, a hundred banks get done, and 20 banks don't get done today. You know, oh, my bank is not. No, it's not your bank. We just got to walk through the process. You know, get some banks done, make sure everything is working, and then we're going to get everybody's bank done. Then we want to make sure everybody has, as always, we're going to make sure everybody has every single coin they're supposed to have. You know, every single coin you're supposed to have, everything you're supposed to have, we want to make sure you have it. But we want to get the process started today of getting the people who have, com who have completely closed banks, getting, no getting those people HP, HMP tokens. So we're going to start this process later today, and then um, we're going to start walking through to make sure everybody get everything they're supposed to get done. If you guys recall, the reason we have to do this, the reason we want to do this, but also the reason we have to do this is that the HMNP.RS tokens are, are critical. So they're critical for you to receive, you to receive your, your airdrops of your or your future tokens. So the HMNP.RS tokens are this one. Should we get here? Do you hear? So those tokens are, are completely necessary to be in your wallet in order to receive your airdrops of other tokens. And one of our other tokens is coming extremely fast. we we have a we have a date. Um, date is not it's less than 10 days from now. We don't want to say it just yet, but we have a date less than 10 days from now. As we told you before the end of the month, this coin token is going to drop, and it will drop before the end of the month. Um, we have a date in mind, and the, with that token, for you to get airdrop that token, you have to have your HMNP.RS in your wallet. Because the token is going to drop to the places where HMNP.RS is at. That's what it, that's what a new token is going to drop first. So we want to make sure that we get start this process with the banks getting everybody's HMNP.RS in their wallets. And once they get them in their wallets, then they can you know prepare themselves or ready themselves for their first airdrop, first airdrop of the of the new token of the first new token. As long as you keep this HMP.RS in your wallet, you will continue to get a new token forever. As long as you keep the HMNP RS in your wallet. Uh, obviously, as we talked about before, when people understand how the mechanism works, people are going to want to try this, try to buy this HMNP RS from you. Now, the truth of the matter is that the only way to get HMNP RS today is that you're either a bank or you're doing work, I either work we talked about for $2 or you're doing work for humanity and you can pay HMP RS for the work you're doing. The only ways to get this is that you have a bank. It's the only ways to get it. There's nowhere to buy it. The only way to get it is to have a bank or you're doing work for humanity. The people who have buy a bank and do work and hold these tokens in their wallet will automatically receive airdrops of new tokens, new tokens in the ecosystem. And a tokens of other and tokens of other blockchain projects that that We'll decide because the blockchain index is very is very good for them to support humanity protocol. So whatever comes in as the winnings of, of humanity blockchain index, whatever comes in as new tokens from the ecosystem, whatever comes in, whether it's the eco nest, the infrastructure companies, 
the rails, if you want to call them, whether it's the companies from Dreamplay. The mechanism for getting those new tokens in this new world is to own hmnp.rs and have that in your wallet. So you want to have hmnp.rs in your wallet. You hear, you hear how many times I've said that hmnp.rs? I've said the hmnp.rs a lot of times. If you, if you haven't heard hmnp.rs is the tokens you want to have in your wallet. I mean, it's be nice to have HMNP RS in your wallet. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say that it would be very nice for you to have HMNP RS in your wallet and to keep that in your wallet. So I think I've said, you know, HMNP RS <laughs> that you should keep it in your wallet. Uh, besides that, next next thing up is that again, we're still doing the bank conversions. Make sure everybody get their get converted their banks. Doing the bank closeout. Now that we got the, the drop there, we can go ahead and get the bank the banks closed out. Now we now we can go ahead and get the banks closed out. And from there is to walk everybody into the into the uh walking everybody, which I'm including the entire world, into the true uh, blockchain system, which we talked about the other day. The three legs of the table. The three legs of the table, which is the humanity NFTs, the bank NFTs, and the Econet NFTs, which are businesses. The three things that interact between the tables, which is the smart contracts, our tokens, and our community staking program. You know, that's that's the ecosystem. We're gonna talk about the uh how do you activate, whether it's your dream or somebody else's dream, how you activate that. You can talk about the humanity helping hand. We have a class, of course, on that, humanity helping hand activation, and also what we call the beat. I'll give you guys more update on that, but this is how you activate your own dream. Everybody activates their dream. And then we'll talk about the, you know, the, the, the third thing, which is the, um, we're calling it kind of the wealth pyramid, but basically whether you're, you guys have seen, whether you, or you intended to use humanity as a work, as a work platform, you're a worker or want to be self-employed, a business owner or, or investor, banker, the, you know, things that you need to do to increase your wealth, right? And we've kind of put out a map for that. So you can see on each on each step, you can you can be as passive as you want to, or you can be active as you want to. But we can see you can see where we put a map together where you can understand daily how to increase your wealth in the human in the humanity protocol system, and you know what you do, including how to how to make manifest your dreams. Now, some of this is you know, most of this is blockchain stuff on the blockchain, but some of this is just understanding how to how to think about manifestation. How to think about how to think about your how to think about how to do it in this paradigm of blockchain, you know, which is different on how to do it in the paradigm of Wall Street. So how to do it in this paradigm of blockchain? How do you create things and manifest things in this in this in this paradigm, this paradigm shift that is blockchain? Uh, so so making sure starting the process by which HMMP.RS gets deposited to the banks. Uh, we've already people are already working for HMP.RS uh, in Africa and Asia. They've been earning it for about a week. It's been getting daily dropped into their wallets as they earn, as they do, as they activate. And they have tens of thousands of people, and hopefully hundreds of thousands of people doing that shortly. Maybe millions of people doing that shortly. Not shortly, but we will get there. Um, and then the HMNPS.RS, HMNP.RS dropped into the banks, and then. And then secondly, getting these these things that you guys can do with the steps of the wealth pyramid for each for each for each area, um, how you activate that, and how do you how do you best interact with the with the with the infrastructure, which is Randy Protocol, which is the three legs and and then the three uh, the three things that interact with each leg, right? So that's that's what's happened over the next over the next seven days. In addition to that, we have a lot more press coming out. Partnerships, uh, partnerships to announce things that's going to create value. You know, things so then when we do drop our first our first token, uh, which is going which is going to happen in the next ten days when we do drop our first token, then people will really understand how the ecosystem works. We should we should achieve you know a reasonable value, which is compared to our peers, which is something that's you know very very high. Lastly, on my side, time. Lastly, on my side, no, I don't have to be lastly. It's still, it's still early. I keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, on my side, you know, just to understand, you know, for 
this is some 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 blockchain basics or some token basics, just so you guys, you know, we can collectively frame our mind about what we want to do. Again, we in charge of our own destiny. Nobody can stop us. We in charge of our own destiny. Um, I want to say I don't have I don't have uh, Jamal seeing you guys. Uh, uh, you know, the craziness as the market. You no, know, we we in the we in a a semi simulated bull run. An hour, maybe a bull run. I don't want to look at it. Let's see. Let's wait a couple of days or weeks to see. But in the bull run, and you know, you guys may have you guys may have known of or heard of what called meme coins. Meme coins are the uh, coins that are you know, Dogecoin was one of the first meme coins. Meme coin coins that are basically operationalists don't have any utility or use case usually. Um, you know, but they they are put out. They were first put out as a joke. And people would trade them, but now actually they're just a mechanism for stealing money. To be honest, uh, so they were originally they were put out as you know how, why we should all join us because it really wanted to show the, the founders of Dogecoin really were actually trying to do something, and they did something which was which was intelligent. They wanted to show that the community is everything. That in blockchain, which is the case, the community is everything. In blockchain, the community is everything. In blockchain, this community is everything. I guess this is. This is going to be the call where I repeat things many, many times. I know people get on and say, oh, man, you're always repeating yourselves on the call. So, but it's true. But we're repeating ourselves a lot of times because we want you to catch the most important points. And to catch it, sometimes we got to hear it a couple of times because, you know, we sometimes got to hear it a couple of times. But Dogecoin wanted to prove that community was the most important aspect of blockchain. We figured it out. Like we figured it out early and figured it out early. Community was the most important part of blockchain. So when they say we're going to create a token, and everybody at that time was creating tokens with you know white papers and this and that and otherwise, we're going to create a token that we're going to create a token that um, that just didn't really have a purpose. It just had a community, and the community can decide what the token does. So he created Dogecoin, people got into it, people talked about it, some famous, some not so famous, don't really matter so much. The point is that the community started buying the token and the token went from, from a very small value, 0 000 000 000 000 000 000 something, one, to some value that it has today. But I know the overall market cap of Dogecoin is 21, 21 billion, because I looked it up this morning while I was preparing for this call. So the overall market cap of Dogecoin is twenty one billion, and there are other many other meme coins that are followed that are you know nonsensical. They have multi billion dollar uh, market caps, um, and these and this this phenomenon, which is meme coin, which you know people think is stupid, it, it's really a lot of people are now using it to uh, to to get money from communities. Uh, build communities that don't make any sense, but the but the aspect is just like everything at the beginning, right? Everything, cell phones, websites, everything at the beginning, people use it to scam. Why? Because the scammers are pretty much the first adopters of everything. This is the way it works, some kind of way. <laughs> I guess they're already looking for looking for the new scam. So the scammers are always, you know, adopters. But at the end of the day, the utility of this of this thought process, the utility of the thought process is that the community, any community. Those community, our community, any community can take can create a multi-billion dollar token. Because the thing that it really takes is community, which is what Doge wanted to prove is that community uh program technology without community is zero. Community without program technology is super valuable. That was their point. Okay. And people have taken that point to say, okay, well, let's build fake community, fake no, real communities following fake programs, let's take the money. But then nobody's ever done the same thing, which is that let's build real communities and create the same value, but then make that value real because make that coin and that value, make that coin and that value serve the community. Okay, so now, so this, so follow this, because this is a super important point. This I will help you understand why we're different. And you know, it even in this is that that instead of if the community can create value, so just like Dogecoin has created a, a real, it's not a fake, a real $21 billion because it trades a billion dollars a day because people can get money, they can use that money to do things. So Dogecoin has created its community, not its project because you can't do anything with Dogecoin. 
So not the project, not the technology. The technology was a was a clone of Bitcoin. So not the technology, but the community created that coin, as well as all the other meme coins that it has value. Now, where does that value sit? If that value set with the founders, then those founders have got extremely rich. They're living their life. And the rest of the people were just buying and speculating on the coin and hoping that the coin would buy that 0.00001, it goes 0.0002, and everybody doubled their money, and they, and they say they dream about it going to one cent, and that's that's the, that's the utility of it. That's what it does today, which is a glorified model of gambling or a non-glorified model of gambling. But what if you took that same mechanism Family, what if you took that same mechanism and we created, what if we, not you, we, all of us, took that same mechanism and we created a multi-billion dollar coin that traded hundreds of millions of dollars a day. But instead of that money going to the founders, which would be me, myself, or Jamal, or whoever, instead of going to the technology people, whoever, that money now goes to do humanitarian stuff and it goes to the people, which is you, the community, who help doing that humanitarian stuff. Now, now you got something that, that's super, super interesting, at least as I see it, super interesting. Because you've taken a mechanism that blockchain has created and that scammers have used, and they're not only scammers, but you know everybody between you. But now, what nobody's done is really found a way to, to circulate that value back to the people in the community and that value to a, to a greater good, which is humanity. Well, now if you take the same thing that everybody's done, I can take and show you 100 coins that have done it. So if 100 coins have done it, I'm sure everybody on this call understands if 100 coins have done it, we can do it. But it's clear that we can do it because 100, 100, 100 coins have done it. The mechanism out there is none of it's hidden. I can show you a coin every single day is doing the same thing. So if we can do it because 100 coins have done it, and then we take, but instead of we taking that value versus Instead of what typically will happen is that Marcus and Jamal and a handful of insiders will decay. We can't do it because it's only five of us or however many it is. Us. So five people can't create a mean point and make it work. But instead of that, instead, instead of us saying what the benefit is to Marcus, Jamal, and a handful of other people, if we say we're going to do this, and here's blockchain transparency, here's where all the coins are. And here's how you get the coin. You have to do something that helps humanity. It's how you get the coin. Or you can buy the coin, but to get the coin, you have to do something that helps humanity. And then we're looking, sit there and look at all the coins. We can create that same value, one billion, two billion, or twenty-two billion dollars. And that value can and that value can be shared between the community and the people that make it happen. That's the future. That's where this thing is going. That's where humanity protocol is all about. It's showing everybody how to get their value. But we had to first set up all this infrastructure and all these things and all these systems. And, and truthfully, we had to, nobody's done this stuff before. We had to test systems, we had to test things, we had to try things, we had to see what you guys really would do, what you wanted to do, all of this stuff to get to this point. But now that we're at this point, we can, we can manufacture the resources to do the things that we want to do, right? So we can dream and manufacture the resources to then facilitate creating those dreams, which those dreams creation is really value, right? So this is now the blockchain version of what happens in the or blockchain version of what happens in the real world. But we, the people on this, the 108, 107 people on this call have the power to do this, period. We, the people who've done it, then have 100, has seven people, then have 108 people, which is now on the call. They had a handful of people and they were insiders, they knew how the machinery worked to get it done. But what they didn't do, what they didn't have is us, community. So if they can do it, we can do it. It's actually pretty straightforward to walk, to walk this thing out. But everybody on this call can help us create a multi-billion dollar coin, which is shared by our community and which does humanitarian things and which empowers people to do good things in their life and humanitarian calls. And we can we can take that and build a whole entire global decentralized economy off the top of that. That's what our plan is. That's what we're going to do. That's what's different about us than the other humanity protocol, than WorldCoin. WorldCoin understands this community thing. And what they want to do is say, okay, 
we got the richest guys in, in, in Silicon Valley, richest guys around, and we're going to do this, but we're going to own it again, just like we own the old, old economic system. We're going to have people do it, and we're going to give them $5 or $10 or whatever it is so we can give us their, their skin, their eyeballs, and their faces, and, and do and then create this blockchain around identity. And then use that. They want to do it, but they want to do it in a way that's, that every Wall Street has done everything, that Silicon Valley has done everything, which is that a handful of people owns all, own all the benefit. We want to do this in a way where the people who get on this call every day, day in and day out, 109 people who give us time every night, every night on this call, and the people who believe in them and the people who, who are with them and that so on and so forth, we can benefit from this, from the new mechanism that the world's created been created we can benefit and then we can share that benefit in a way that everybody can tap in plug in and do their part and receive their part that's the point of the humanity protocol so i'm going to have um i'm going to have jamal put something on the screen jamal did you see what i put into the srs group uh uh srs group here yeah. Can you put that on the screen so for the screen so we can see this? Yep, for sure. <laughs> so I just want you guys to see this so you so you can get an understanding of visual. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send some other things up to put on the screen so you guys can get an understanding of visual what's really going on out here in this in this world, but what but how that's ultimately used. To our benefit. Let me see. One second. Well, that's well, that's coming up. Um, every, everyone wanted to know and, and wanted good communication. Uh, what it, what it really means is that you seeing every single day what we go through every single day. You know, before before we find the spirit people, the uh, the timing of telling you, oh, this didn't happen. This happened. This happened. Didn't happen. And so it'll be a couple days in between us saying something because we were waiting for them to say, now you're actually in the game with us. And seeing that, you know, you might message tech and try to get something done with them, it doesn't happen. Um, you know, realize that now that us, you, we, we are the company. And so this 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 process is exactly what's happening, what's ha what has been happening behind the scenes that people weren't able to see behind the scenes. All right. And so now you're seeing it for yourself, walking it through, walking it out. You sent it to me directly or just SRS? This is, this is an SRS group. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen, guys. Okay. <laughs> This one, right, this one right here, right? Yeah, no, first you put this one, this one, and then we put this one. This one. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, let's bear with us for a second, guys. It's, it's up on the screen. I'm gonna hear a little bit of okay, second. So that's why you may hear doors and locks open. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is I pulled this up this morning uh, before I was preparing for the call, and so you guys know, I know, I know some of you don't know Dogecoin. You have Dogecoin. Uh, I know some of you have Shiba. I don't know if any of you have the PP, but you know these are meme coins. They're worth two billion, three billion. 16 billion 21 billion you know this is this is this is real life money people could spend this money people do spend this money making this money this is just understand that how to work the process right how to work the process and so but the again the utility of this is small for the communities that have supported these tokens because they're just mostly speculators and they don't have the they haven't built the mechanisms they don't have the mechanisms to to benefit you know, so if our community, you know, takes now our infrastructure and then on top of that, people in our community and then people in our community, 
you know, our community, but then people in our community. This is not about, you know, many, many tokens will be created in the future. Many of those tokens will not be created by Marcus or Jamal or anybody here. Many of those tokens will be created by you guys. Many of the things that happen to be created by you guys and by guys who come in the future, and guys and girls and people and all the above that come in the future. But the mechanism is here and the bull run is here. And so with that, we need to take advantage of that. This is how we produce, how we produce the machinery and the currency to then run our run over our machinery. So you'll see Dogecoin there with 2.4. Oh, let me turn your phone sideways to go sideways. Dogecoin there with two point with 21 billion, Shiba with 16 billion, Pepe 3 billion, 2 billion. And if I go to um Okay, go to coin market cap on your. No, actually, click that next link. That's a picture, is it? Yeah, that's a picture. Oh, I'm talking about the next link up under there. On the SRS feed. Nope. Okay, so this. Yep, this is fine. This loading deck. This is a this is a meme token that was launched two days ago. As it turns out, two days ago, let me let me drop your phone. So launched two days two days ago, and you see the market cap is four hundred million. See how much is traded. The volume in the last twenty four hours is one point is one point two billion dollars. Right in the last twenty four hours, one point two billion dollars. You know. You didn't hear, haven't heard of it. Most of you haven't heard of it. Maybe some of you heard of it. But this is happening every day. But this is off of this is off a of non-real community. People who 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 have come into a community for the purpose of speculation and trying to make some quick money, but haven't come into the community for the purpose of being a community. So what happened is all these people run together, try to form this community that's really not a community. Basically, it's a bunch of people walking in the same direction because they walk in the same direction because they think that's where they're going to have financial success at. And mostly the insiders are going to win. The people, original people are going to win. The insiders are going to win. win. And everybody else is going to lose either directly now, over time, et cetera. Right? But if you took the same mechanism and you took that mechanism and it was really a community, people who know each other, people get on the phone every day. So it was really a community. And now you took that mechanism and with that mechanism, you pushed it and you created this value, even greater value. And then you use that great value to reinvest into the humanity ecosystem, into an ecosystem, into a program, to value creation things. Now you have sustainable value, sustainable model and the currency to continue to drive that model, right? That's the future. That's really what's gonna happen. Not only humanity protocol of down the line, many other people are going to understand how this is the real mechanism for creating value, right, in blockchain. But we, the first people who put it together, as far as not only just having a community of speculators, but having a community that's been together. You guys uh, obviously know we're a real community. We're here every day. You know, this is what we do. So we're a real community. And with that community, we will be able to build value very quickly and then use their value very, very, very quickly. And others will see this as the mechanism where we'll be able to move fast and, and obtain the value needed to to fully build our system out. Okay, so that's that's what's going on in the ecosystem. That's what's going on in the blockchain ecosystem. But this is for us. This is what this is how we get to the next step. So what this, this call was about was kind of lining out some you know some. Uh, administrative details about H -N -H -N -H -M -N -P .rs, HMNP.RS, you should have that in your wallet. You should continue to have that in your wallet. If you have that in your wallet, you will get good stuff. If you don't have it in your wallet, you will not get good stuff. Or maybe you will pay for good stuff later. But HMNP.RS, have it in your wallet. And then also talking about the banks, we're going to get make sure we conclude this bank process. And we're going to do all that because in the next seven, seven days, oh, excuse me, the next 10 days, before the end of the month, our new token, a new token is going to drop. First of first of several, maybe the first of many, or maybe the first of many, many. And the people who have HMNP.RS in their wallet, they're going to get that token 
drop to them for free. Others will have to buy it. And lastly, there is a community in the community and as community. As community, you know, we have the power to create whatever we want to 100% for sure. And the mechanism for the first time in the history of the world is here. That mechanism is blockchain. And now we've created a protocol that not only takes advantage of that, but has made it made it possible for humans, all humans to participate and to take to have a benefit from it. That's what we're doing. That's what we're up to. And now uh, you guys can see it. You'll be able to see every day uh, how we do this. But the best way to do it, to see it, is to see it in your wallet, to walk it out. And that's what we're about to start doing right now. So that's that's my presentation for the day. I think now I have a lot of my time. Yep, 855. Uh, 555 somewhere else. I guess that would be Dubai. 855 here in Vietnam. So that's what that's what we're doing. This is how the mechanism is going to work. You'll see it as even day by day as we go forward and start implementing these things. So with that, I'm going to turn back over to Jamal. But that's that's these are our next steps, guys. Good. Thank you so much, President. Um, 111 people on the call. Yep. Awesome. Right, and this is this is really important because now that people can start to see it being walked out and walked through, right? Um, I know people got questions about the banks and everything. Everything is happening step by step. I know there's a lot of work going on, a lot of teams being organized. Um, you know, just just know this, guys. Um, if something ain't working, the tech team will get it fixed. They they will get it fixed. Whatever it is, it'll get fixed. So like Marcus said, we, we're trying to move fast, but nobody's going to get left behind. Um, for the banks, we're going to drop tokens. Uh, again, we got we got that figured out yesterday. We thought we had some of it figured out a, day, a, couple, of day, a couple of days ago, but we're going to use the word here ASAP a lot, so we will understand as soon as possible. This is a, Everything is done as soon as possibly uh, able to get done. As you can tell, we had a banking process working, and then we had to make some adjustments to it because – like right now we have some, you know, some little small issues with the, with the HPT being deposited. And as soon as those guys are up, uh, we'll make that the number one priority and getting those numbers and getting those uh, HPT being, being able to be redeposited or, you know, and it was something to do with gas fees. And this is all blockchain. And as president keeps saying, a lot of times we only get to this stuff. You only get to it when it, you're actually in motion with it and you figure out, Oh, I need to make an adjustment this way or that way. All right. So, um, I don't have much else to add to that this morning. When when does I'm gonna stop this recording here and then we'll entertain some questions and then uh then from there we'll we'll call a call a wrap. Oops. I'm gonna stop sharing my phone first of all. Let's see how we can get my phone to stop sharing. Hit this button here. I guess that's not it. Guys, if if I could do this stuff, anybody can. I can't figure out how to get my my phone to stop sharing. All right, so I want to be a personal inspiration to you that it's, it stopped sharing on this one yet. Still sure? Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right. All right. So this. If anybody is concerned about the fact that they can't figure out how to operate some of this stuff, look, the managing director and the president, it took us about two, three minutes to figure out how to get that stop sharing word. <laughs> but that's that's not where the number one job here is, just so you understand, but I'll stop the sharing. Let me stop the recording as well.